How's it going everyone? It's Mike here from Bosch Process and we're about to play Wand Wars. This is a game that's recently just come out on Steam. I've just done the tutorial just to get a bit of a, a heads up on the controls because at first they are a little different but once you get used to it it's... I can see why they've done it this way. It's gonna be good. So it looks like I choose the character that I am gonna be. So I am gonna be the apprentice. Not quite ready for legendary yet, but you never know. So let's go on to normal. So apparently my name is Gregory. Oh, I've got his wand. It's not your wand, it's my wand now. The pumpkin patch. Three points. Ah, uh, yeah, so it's, uh... Right. So basically... You hold down the, uh, the X button, and then you can aim where the, the ball is gonna go. So he stunned it now, so that wasn't, that wouldn't do any damage. There you go. It's kind of hard to explain, so I'll just let you watch a couple of rounds to see if you can get into it. But I do have these. <laughs> so I have the ability to catch the ball. It's kind of like Quidditch from Harry Potter. So you hold down the button to catch it and then you can move the left analog stick to change the angle and the projection of where it's going to go. The longer you hold it down, the bigger the uh, the power of it is going to be. <laughs> it's getting quite intense. <laughs> so in a sense, it's also like Tron when they're playing the discus. So if you throw it, they've got to catch it. And if they don't catch it at the, at the right time, then obviously it will hit you and kill you. There you go, it's pretty straightforward. I do like it that it's got a story mode, because you can see straight away that it's going to be more for a multiplayer brawler. You know, if you can get four people on the go, but I like it that there's a story to it, so you can play these games on your own as well. So I'm now against a cat. Oh, so he still thinks I've got a stolen wand. Let's get it on. Meow. Round one, we on a bigger player field this time. Oh, easy as that, easy as that. So if you use the, the square button as well, I'm using a PlayStation controller, this will fire a, a special arrow. So this will turn the enemy, or the opponent, into a chicken. And the longer you hold it down for, the longer they'll stay as a chicken when it hits them. And there is, there's another button as well, which is an ability, which uses a circle. But I believe for that one to work, you need to pick up a special object to be able to use that. So I can't use that quite yet, so I can't show you that, but you can see how the rest of the game plays out. <laughs> so I managed to turn it into a chicken and then also kill myself. But there we go. That's magic for you. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. There we go. So I turned it into a chicken with my arrow and then I killed it with my Sophia. Sophia? 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 Oh, so I'm getting XP, so I'm unlocking... Okay, so this might be for the ability that I was on about. So we'll go into another round and we'll test this out. Oh, this guy looks like he knows what he's doing. Oh, June, maybe he's a woman. Yeah, well, I've got some new powers. You want to see my tricks? Let's get it on. Merlin's caught. Go fight! Oh, he's using his special ability on me. 
I'll turn you into a chicken instead. So I don't... I haven't got my ability yet. I like the music. Face value does look quite tricky and hard, but it's actually very easy to pick up and play. I can see this being very hectic on four player mode though. Which is a good thing, good thing. And once I get the boss process crew back together, we will get a four player game on the go. Yes! Too close, I could not move out of the way fast enough. Oh, can't lose now. It's 4 2. So he starts off with his ability straight away. I've yet to gain mine. Oh. That was lucky. Very, very lucky. Oh, <laughs> so close. Yes, tactics played into to a match winner then. Victorious. And I've unlocked another ability. Oh no, I've unlocked a new character. I've got a lot of demon. But I'm going to leave it there because I, I did pretty good. So this was One Dwarves and I've been Mike from Boss Process and you can pick this up on Steam because it's it's currently out on there. So if you like your multiplayer blowers or you just want to play something, something a little different, 